Prince Andrew's infamous Newsnight interview has been made into a Netflix drama starring Rufus Sewell as the royal. Prince Andrew has been pictured on a morning horse ride around Windsor Castle, just as a Netflix film about his Newsnight interview was released on the streaming platform. The drama, which has been highly publicized and features a star-studded cast, focuses on the Duke of York's excruciating sit-down interview in 2019, where he was quizzed by broadcaster Emily Maitlis about his friendship with billionaire-convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Actor Rufus Sewell plays Andrew while Gillian Anderson portrays Ms. Maitlis in the film. Keely Hawes and Billy Piper also star in the new Netflix film, which was released today. Veteran commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said there was no question the new film would put more pressure on the palace over its relationship with Andrew. He has already lost his HRH status, stripped of his military titles and patronages and has stepped down from royal duties. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Mail Online, It will all remind people not only of how the interview transpired but also the whole scandal, from Pizza Express and the sweating to, more seriously, the photograph of Andrew with Virginia Jufri. This is at a time when he has appeared several times at public events, including at the memorial service to King Constantine. While ceremonies in a religious context are somewhat different, there should be no question of him attending any major royal events. This film will also be embarrassing for the palace because it was filmed in the palace and will be used for 50 years in any public relations lecture. It was possibly the worst ever interview given by a public figure anywhere. The royal expert and film critic goes on to say that Andrew was painted poorly in the Netflix drama, with his character coming into question. The film conveys the extraordinary sense of entitlement that Andrew had. He is told by his aide Amanda Thirst to just be himself and he is. That's the most damning thing, he said. It is very embarrassing for the palace and simply another indication that Andrew is completely unfit for the royal family he was born into. Andrew's is already ghastly and couldn't be worse so this will confirm people's view of him. The film also adds a new dimension by portraying his childlike side such as the scene featuring his teddy bears. The person we see in the film doesn't seem to be in touch with reality. It shows how people in a privileged position can become completely out of touch. This was the most ghastly interview from any public figure I can remember. Andrew withdrew from public life amid the furore over his friendship with Epstein and paid millions to settle a U.S. civil sexual assault case to Ms. Jufri, a woman he claimed never to have met. The 2022 settlement did not include any admission of liability. The Duke was cast out of the working monarchy and no longer uses his HRH title after Ms. Jufri, who was trafficked by Epstein accused him of sexually assaulting her when she was 17. He has strenuously and repeatedly denied all allegations.